traction and the secret is probably not the best material to study. There, I said it. I mean it. Hold on before you dislike this video. Let's talk about it. All right, so if you know the secret, the law of attraction, and they all got to go together, the secret was produced in 2006. I believe it was 2006. I don't know if it was the movie that came first or the book. Rhonda Byrne uh, was down on her luck. She's from Australia. Somebody handed her a book. She read the book. The book was uh, Wallace D. Waddle's The Science of Getting Rich. By the way, you can read The Science of Getting Rich for free on Google Play Books, probably on the Kindle store. It's a public work. It went into the public domain. Anybody can use it, edit it, copy it. You can read it for free. The language is very dated and old, by the way. But she wrote The Secret. I learned about it like many other people did back in 2006 or around that time. It was a much different era back then, but I saw it on CBS. 60 Minutes, which is a major news magazine, been on for 50 years plus, I think, in America. It's a big deal to see that on 60 Minutes. So it got super duper popular. It introduced us to a bunch of awesome speakers, but I'm here to tell you that I don't think it's the absolute best resource for you guys to watch or learn about the law of attraction stuff. And before you guys uh, slaughter me, just hear me out on this one, okay? The problem I have with it is actions. It doesn't tell people to take enough actions. For example, right now, I'm going to tell you to take an action. I'm going to ask you to take an action. Uh, a couple of actions. Click on the subscribe button, then click the little bell, and then let me know that you subscribed in the comments. And I will reply to you. I'll take an action. And then we can have a little dialogue. And if you guys click the like button too, you can help. You can help billions. Billions, yes, because your actions causes YouTube to take an action and spreads this video in front of people that are trying to help their lives out. And when they search for this kind of stuff, they might see me. That's what I'm asking you to do. But the secret doesn't tell people to take actions. And that's what I have a problem with. You see, if you give a person a book like The Secret or let them watch the DVD, they're going to walk out of that experience really charged up and rip rare and ready to go. And they're going to manifest everything and they're going to make their lives different. And they're going to think, I got a check in the mail. I got a check in the mail. Then they open their bills and it's a bill. She uses this example in the book Rhonda Byrne does uh, or in the movie. She says, every time I got a check in the, a bill in the mail, an invoice, I pretended it was a check. For those too young to know, checks are things that are on paper that people used to send money on. That was a joke. Thumbs up for a good joke or a bad one. Okay. But manifesting a car, I'm going to put my hands on the steering wheel in my mind and boom, I'm manifesting a car. Those are not actionable steps. You see, to me, the law of attraction is really the law of focus. You have to focus on things. You have to focus on what you want. And then you will send a command from your conscious to your subconscious mind down through your body to do those actions to get you the net result that you want. It's like basketball, probably there. A good example. One of the most popular games on the planet Earth. If you're going to focus on winning a basketball game and attract a win, you can't just sit on the bench. You actually have to go on the court and produce the actions that end you up with the result of winning. And through that, you're going to through hard work and a little bit of luck and the law of attraction, you might just win that game. And you'll get better at it even if you don't win it. But the secret doesn't really go into all that stuff. It just talks about manifesting and dreaming. Now, give us a lot of really good things. Like it gave us Bob Proctor, Joe Vitale. These people were around before, but it got them a lot more exposure, especially in an era before YouTube was on everything like phones, tablets, televisions. Heck, my TV in 2006 wasn't a smart TV. It wasn't even a high definition TV, let alone a TV that can play YouTube videos. So how was I going to see Bob Proctor unless I happened to pick up a book at a library or a bookstore? So it gave us a lot of that good stuff, but it just doesn't have the right amount of actionable advice in it. And to me, it's just about the focus. That's the main problem I have with the secret. It's not the best way to get into it. And here's what happens. People get the secret. They try to manifest. They don't take the actions. They say this doesn't work. They don't feel empowered. They get stuck in their little prison cell, you know, where they don't like themselves and they hate the world. And I don't want to see anybody hate the world. So if you love the world, show me some comment love. I'll reply to you. Go ahead, click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you know when I send out a uh, video. And I appreciate you guys watching. I have a goal. It's to reach a million people through a million subscribers on YouTube. What's your goal? And what actions are you taking towards your goal? Like, share, and subscribe if you're just passing through. I really appreciate the views. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.